First and 10 for the Gorillas from the Bearcat 31. Abinoha fakes the handoff. He's got Schwartz in the flat at the 30. Past the 25, down to the 24. Good play fake there and a bootleg for the Gorillas. Gain of six. And we're seeing a lot of new things from the Gorillas today. We saw some trickery on special teams. What we're seeing a lot here is, and I know Schwartz is, he lined up in the backfield there, but as a tight end, they haven't targeted him a lot this year so far. It's mostly been wide receivers or backs out of the backfield. Schwartz is doing an excellent job. He showed a nice burst of speed in the open field there to kind of turn up field for an extra five yards. Uh, he's, if he can add that extra element to this offense, uh, the Grills will go to another level. Abinoha spins, gives to Holman. Holman gets smacked right at the 25, and it was nobody else but DJ Nader. <laughs> well, he had a bead on Holman, and we're seeing the Gorillas, you know, they've had success with the pass. They try to go back to the run, and you have to do that to establish consistency, but right now, I, I'd imagine they go to the air here, about third and about four. They're going to definitely want to go to the air because that's what they've been most potent with. The Gorillas one for two on third downs, and they bring in Ramsey Hamilton. Not so much a passing threat, more of a runner. He's four for nine through the air this season. Abinoha on the sideline. Jamal Tyler goes in motion. Hamilton's going to tuck. He's going to look over the middle. Does he have cushion? Caught! Touchdown, Gorillas! Ramsey Hamilton throws his first touchdown pass of the season. He had 20. 31 yards coming in. That was a 24-yard strike to Marcus Cushion. Little used as a passer, Ramsey Hamilton. Everybody knows he's a run-first quarterback. He's almost a fullback. He comes in more trickery from the Pitt State offense, and they strike gold twice early in the second quarter. I've been wondering all season, where has that arm of Ramsey Hamilton been? They've been waiting to unleash it just now. Talking to some sources within the team, They've said they're gonna un they're gonna unveil some new things. 12 minutes to go in the first half. Gorillas 21, Bearcats zero. Pittsburgh State has come to Maryville and they are flying to the football on defense. Their timing is crisp now. That started off a little shaky. Their timing is crisp between quarterbacks and receivers. This Bearcat team looks knocked down. I would say they're very. I'd say they're flummoxed. You could say that because. Pitt State recovered two kind of pooch kick, onside kick. But you see right there, the play differential is not wide, but you see the total yards. That means yards per play. Pitt State's really capitalizing, and their defense is doing an excellent job of shutting down the Bearcats. Jet sweep to cushion on the right side. Hurdles the defender, gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Mark him out at the 14-yard line, so he gets a yard past the original line of the scrimmage. It'll be second and nine. They read option from Abinoha, and then they could blocking downfield. And that's a reoccurring theme. I think it's been adequate blocking so far to give Abinoha time. He's been hit a couple times, but I think once the ball is past the line of scrimmage, that downfield blocking has been excellent for the Gorillas, and that's why these, these runs, these outside kind of little passes have been so productive. Jamal Tyler, the running back in the backfield with Anthony Abinoha. Abinoha looking for Daniel on the slant. He gets the catch and gets planted by Nader right at the 12. And right now I believe the Gorillas are not playing it safe necessarily, but they're doing a good job of just trying to move the ball. If they don't get a first down here, it's not the end of the world. They're very comfortable with giving the ball over to Connor Frizzell. They're their field goal kicker letting him put him up 24 to 0. I wouldn't be surprised to see a shot in the end zone solely for that reason, the confidence that they have in their kicker. Well, with the wind dying down, the wind's not going to be as much of an issue here, the kicking game. Third and six. Abinoha going for Lutman. He put the right mitt up in the air, brought it down. Touchdown, Pittsburgh State. Second and 10 from the 21. Pistol set. Read option to give us to Tyler. He's only going to get the 20. And now it's third and long yeah. once again. And look for the Bearcats to really pay a very close eye to Marcus Cushing. Yeah, no kidding. And right now you see the ball is on the right hash mark on the top of the field there. So Abignoa, if he chooses to roll right, won't have as much room to maneuver and buy enough time. He's probably going to try to stay in the pocket this time and buy his receivers enough time to get down the field. Cushion is in the slot to the bottom of your screen. Lutman alone to the top. Tyler moves to the right of the quarterback, Abinoha. Looking again for Cushion. Great play by Fox to jump that route. 
a step earlier, and he's got an interception. And a step later, that might be a touchdown yep. for the Gorillas. So really, he played it pretty well. You like to take that big third down stop for the Bearcats. Fox, yeah, nothing wrong with that. That's, that's IQ perfect football right there. I think Alling had that play on lock as well. Yep as Cushion was really locked in, or Avanoha was locked into Cushion from the beginning on yeah, that you play. Yeah, you gotta look those safeties off. Here comes Frizzell from 37 yards out. That's, That's tipped at the line of scrimmage. It's gonna fall short. I think it was Long Anchor who got a hand on it. He was in the backfield as well as Colin Bevins at six feet six, got one of the big hands up there and tipped that Frizzell kick. It was a low kick as well. And you see right there just, yeah, like you said, just a low kick and you're taking a lot of risk. Again, you're going into the wind, so you're gonna try to do more of a line drive kick, but you gotta get a little air under it. Those guys, six foot six, that's a lot of ground to cover. One guy can do, so uh, missed opportunity by the Gorillas, but great defense by the Bearcats. 